Hi gang, I thought I'd demonstrate a few more things regarding this lifter while I still have everything out. I'll show you how I measure the voltage and current being used, and also a smoke test so you can see the airflow. Enjoy! Here's a setup for measuring the uh, high voltage and the current as I fly the lifter. Um, right over here is the my probe for measuring the voltage. It's a Fluke 40K probe, so it's able to go up to 40 kilovolts. My power supply only puts up uh, out to about uh, 30 kilovolts maximum. So that's going to this meter right here. And then for the current, well, I'm going to use this meter right here. This meter uh, must be on the ground side, not the high voltage side, because of all the parts inside. And it has to be connected to the top wire here. The reason it has to be connected to the top wire is because that's the wire that's doing all the leaking of electrons, or picking up electrons. That's the wire that the current is going through. So that means that I had to switch it so that the, high, the uh, ground is at the top right here and then the skirt is the high voltage positive. So let's switch around from my uh, video on how to make a lifter. So let me demonstrate it in action. Okay, so I turn it on, turn it up, and you can see the meters both reacting right there right away. Let's go until this lifts off. There we go, it's flying. Okay, so that's a 30 volt DC scale which means that we're looking at this scale right here. The 3 is actually 30, and therefore this uh, 2.5, actually 2.6 means uh, 2,600, sorry, 26,000 volts. And on the current scale right here, we're in the 20 microamps, and this is just off, uh, 250 microamps, and this is just off the scale. So we're somewhere around, um, I don't know, 275 microamps, maybe. There we go. Okay, doing a smoke demonstration of the lifter here. So I have this incense stick, which puts out quite a bit of smoke, as you can see. Let me get the lifter flying here. Oh, you can see that the smoke is some of it's being attracted to the lifter there. It really gets sucked into the middle. And here it's getting sucked downward somewhat there as you get closer and closer. Corner here. Down. If I lift it up high enough, then see here's what happens if it's not close to the lifter. So it happens if it's <laughs> so it's really getting sucked down in there. The bottom. You can see it's just getting blown away from the um, <laughs> it's blowing apart. See, it's just getting blown away from the base there. It's because the air is coming down and then it spreads out. It's mostly going in the middle. Even here, it's getting sucked down to the middle. Here, the smoke's just getting sucked down below, but it's again, it's mostly the middle. Quite the jet. Well, thanks for watching. Check out my YouTube channel, Rimstar Org, for more science and tech videos like this. In particular, there's my step by step instructions recorded as I made this lifter. There's also a fun one of a big gyroscopic precession experiment I built. And if you're into non conventional energy, there's an EV gray tube type experiment I did a while ago. Details about the high voltage probe and my homemade power supply can be found on my website, rimstar.org. Both are detailed in the equipment section. And be sure to subscribe if you like these videos, or give a thumbs up, or post a comment or question below. See you soon!